Hi guys, uh, Andreas on the Mainliner with uh, another video. This time it's uh, a response to a competition by a Spin Greek Stavros. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and uh, he's doing a competition for his 150 subscribers, which has grown as a number since uh, he started doing this competition. And um, yeah, and I thought that, you know, I'd jump right in. We have, you know, my part of the VC, I haven't seen a lot of competitions lately. And, you know, it's always a good opportunity to sort of, you know, interact and uh, do cool stuff that you don't usually do when, you know, you're showing new records or you, know, that you have been playing and whatnot. Competitions are fun. And uh, that's one reason. The other reason is that, you know, it's like, um, you know, give a little bit of uh, attention to Stavros' uh, channel, which he deserves, uh, very well deserved, I might say. And the third one is uh, free stuff. Yay! <laughs> now, <laughs> usually I don't win competitions. I'm very unlucky in these kinds of things. But <clears throat> I'll, I'll tell you a VC story is that um, there have been some competitions that I was involved in or I did and um, it was won amongst Greeks so I won uh, John Techhead's competition and then I did a competition and Andreas uh, the Grecian Thunder won it and it's like you know Greek conspiracy happening I you know I, I'm not saying that I don't want to win because you know if you enter a competition you might as well you know get something but if I don't, I would be relieved, honestly, because, you know, it's like, ah, those Greeks, ah, those pesky Greeks, they're doing it again. So, anyway, um, congratulations again to, on the 150 uh, subscribers, and uh, I might as well, you know, uh, get started. So, you asked for five things, five things, because if, you know, you show your hand on two Greeks, you don't do it like this, you this uh, pretty much like you know in the UK you don't do I want two of these uh, you say I want two of these um, so you have uh, five things uh, so favorite album of 2016 very easy so yeah let's uh, let's start off with this one yeah so without any question uh, Shape pool, and I will prove it to you that I really like this album. Um, you know, yeah, so I have the special edition and the sort of regular limited edition, if you like. It's the, the white vinyl one, so yeah, hey, uh, yeah, so yeah, an amazing album. Uh, what can I say? I think that uh, it's probably one of their best, um, if not their best. You know, up there, and uh, yeah. If you haven't heard it, and you think that all this hype is for nothing, and you know you're like, nah, you're wrong, and history will prove it. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Right, moving on because uh, I think I've said enough. Um, album of an artist you think I've never heard of. Which is very easy. Now, uh, I'm saying this, and I don't want to, you know, uh, you know, I'm not making fun of you. And you said it as well that you know, this, you know, you don't know a lot. But this is something that has nothing to do with you. It is the same for everybody. I mean, there's always a band, an artist that you want. There's so many out there, and there's so much music out there. And it has been going out, and has been recorded and released over what, like the last 60 years or so, that chances are you don't know everything. Uh, unless you, you know, you sort of stick to the top 10, maybe even, I, I don't know, I mean, you know. So, has nothing to do with you, don't feel bad about it, I don't know everything. And the more you know, the more you know that you don't know, and that's it. People that think that know everything, they're idiots, so pff, don't worry about it. It's, it's very normal and very logical, you know, it just happens. And it's really good as well, because if you knew everything, nothing would surprise you. But now you can still, you know, discover a, a new album or an artist and you can get excited. So, you know, 
there's good things behind this. It's not just all bad news. So, this is a release from 2010, I want to say. Uh, it's from a band called Beacon Lights, and this is 9E6. 9E6, yeah, 9E6. And um, it's, I don't remember which, the, the label that came out, out on. And um, it was a really good, it is, I presume it still is a good, a good label. Um, they did a lot of electronic stuff and a lot of experimental stuff. This is sort of electronic, dubby electronic music. And this is definitely one of the best releases of that year. I, I want to say it was 2010. It's, I remember showing this like in the very early days of the VC when I started doing videos. And it doesn't say anything. I'm looking to see if the... Ah yeah, Not Not Fun. This is the... Yeah, I was trying to see on the dead wax what's... Uh, yeah, it's Not Not Fun. And um, I don't know if they still exist, but they had a slew of really good releases. And um, this was one of the best, very best ones. Now, <clears throat> I don't know whether this is available still. Certainly not, uh, not, not fun pressing, but potentially it has been reissued basically from a major sort of label. Yeah. Check it out. Um, I hope that you don't know them. One, two, I hope that you dig it. And three, I hope that if you do dig it, uh, that you can actually find a copy for yourself. So, there you go. Beacon Lights. Uh, album with your favorite cover art. Now, that's a tough one. That is that is really a tough one. So I am I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit. I'm gonna dig into my albums over there because I yeah, I'm pretty sure that the album I'm, I want to show you is there somewhere. It's a really tough one because <laughs> part of the reason why we buy albums is because we like, you know, the cover art being big and all that. So, and, uh, personally, I I have made buying albums by, you know, judging by the cover, uh, almost an art. It's like, you know, I, over the years, I've been very good at identifying albums that I like, and I think that that is music that I would like, just by looking at the cover and saying that, you know what, this is a cool cover, I will buy this, I have never heard anything about these guys, but I'm getting that, and I've become really good at it, I mean, these days, I would say 9 times out of 10, I'm, I'm spot on. Um, there is the odd, you know, because if you don't know anything about it, obviously you can't go wrong. So, you know, it just happens sometimes. But, you know, it's part of the game. So, if you don't like it, you just you know, sell it. It's easy. So, the album, uh, the cover art, I think it's here. It's... It's not... something in here I need to find out and you know it's it's not something that is unknown or anything but it is unknown pleasure it's not unknown yeah anyway it's unknown pleasures I mean you know with the dying star graph and all that I need to take off the stickers I just say um, so yeah this is the, the, the latest repress of this uh, which is really nice with the texture which is behind the, uh, the shrink wrap, so I would never touch it, but yeah, it gives me that warm and fuzzy feeling inside that it is a textured cover, although I would never touch it, because I would never touch it, I never ruin it, which means that, you know, I'm a little bit, yeah, but uh, 
everybody has their own you know, thing. Anyway, this album cover is you know one of the the ones that I would say that are one of my favorite. <clears throat> Having said that, as I said, because I bought a lot of albums just by the cover, there's a lot of them that I like, and I wouldn't be able to tell you that oh this one is definitely my favorite, but this one is one of the ones that I remember from a long, long time ago that I sort of like. Uh, favorite all instrumental album. Now, again, I will go back to the olden days of the VC and uh, I will uh, show you this. This is Date Palms and Honey Devash. And it's playing in the background, so it is an old instrumental album, and it's uh, basically yeah 2011. This, this came out in 2011, and it's sort of like um, tuned down stoner rock because it has this sort of uh, feel to it. It's, it's it's a really bizarre one. I don't know if you have been enjoying the background music, but this is what's been playing. So yeah. 2010, Kemado Records, it's a limited edition, I don't know whether you can still find one or not, so yeah, there you go. It's one of my favorites anyway, so you know, it's one of those that, there's loads of instrumental albums that I like, I mean, yeah, Mogwai for example, but I was thinking, hmm, I haven't played this for a while and, you know, why not? So, <clears throat> Favorite music related item that isn't a record or CD? Now this is this is an easy one. And I will show you something. <coughs> so I need to move the camera now. It's this one. This is a um, silkscreen uh, poster replica uh, from one of uh, the Slifford Mods uh, gigs that they did in the Exeter Cavern. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the actual date. It's uh, April the 1st, uh, 2015. And, uh, the, and the artist made it, which is... I mean, I put it up there because of uh, the artistic merit of, uh, of the actual poster, rather than... you know, I, I really like the Sleepford mods. I'm, I'm a huge fan. Uh, don't get me wrong. But um, I wouldn't put, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> Ooh, a music poster in my living room if it wasn't uh, aesthetically pleasing, sorry. So, it wasn't aesthetically pleasing as uh, this one is. And I really like the fact that it looks, it happens back to sort of um, French cinema. I, it reminds me of uh, sort of um, posters for um, Mr. Lowe's uh, Vacation. I don't remember the... Uh, the, the, the person that is uh, was doing Mr. Law. Uh, but it sort of reminds me of that kind of era, 50s and whatnot. And it's really well made and it's really nice and also it uh, fits with the color scheme of the of the room. So yeah, so that's it. Um, he also said that there is an option to be first or be last and get like the last two or you know. Uh, <clears throat> I leave it to you. I mean Put me wherever you want. Uh, I don't. I don't mind. And um, yeah, it's 13 minutes. Uh, so um, thanks for the competition. Congratulations. Uh, you know you deserve uh, more than 150 and uh, a lot more than that. And keep on doing what you're doing. And yeah, I'll uh, be seeing you around. Cheers.